Texas Hickory smoke chips with the champagne of beers yeah. marinating bacon that's going to be smoked and then to be made into bacon beer. That's right. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Mr. Beer! Mr. Beer. There he is. This thing is ooge. Beer kit. Beer kit. That's what we need. It's our beer kit. Now we need to infuse bacon into it. How are we going to do that, Cheese? Well, uh, there's a couple people that have done it, and they listed some tips online. Ooh. Uh, but we're, we're so we're going to use some of their knowledge, and then and then use our own knowledge. Right. And then use a little bit of just the force. Mm, force is good. And then used, and then use your amazing smoked bacon recipe and infuse it into this homemade you beer. Use, you actually want to use a smoked bacon instead of just regular bacon. You want to smoke it because it's special, right? Mm, that sounds like a fucking great idea. Right? We should do that. For thousands of years, men have been combining things they like. Salt, Pepper, Burt, and Ernie, Peyton Manning, Dallas Clark, the list goes on. And today, we forge ahead. Indeed. With beer and sweet, delicious bacon. The beer kit. We've got our jug. Oh... Beer. This will, I guess, this. Hi, Mr. Beer. This will sit in here. Oh, look at this. And this is where it's bottled. Ooh. From the fine, fine plastic source. We're gonna look like hobos drinking out of these. <laughs> How many ice cold, frosty beverages can we can we yield from Mr. Beer here? You think? It's like a couple nights worth, or for me, one one solid hour. We're not sure how to make bacon beer, or beer, alone. But we're gonna take instructions from this guy, John Stewart's dad. Look at him. So knowledge, aged well. Tell me about these wood chips. <laughs> oh, these are special. How special? Te Texas hickory. Stick your beak. <laughs> stick your beak in there. You can smell it. I can smell the Texas. It smells like Texas, right? I noticed you got the apple cured bacon. Is that a yeah. uh, is that a favorite of yours, Bombs? It's just a thicker bacon, so it's just better a anyway. Like, you know, it's like you go to, you know, get your bacon cheeseburger at McDonald's. They're using, like, the thinnest strips. They could they could literally, you could make about 600 <laughs> McDonald's bacon cheeseburgers from one of these strips. Sweet, delicious high life. Look at that. That's just going to infuse itself into those strips of pig, and we're just going to... Yeah, there's so much pig in here. It's oh, all, it's all, it's all oh, pig. Juicy pig. We need this to be about 200 degrees, and we're looking at a real good smoke. So, we're kind of winging it. The idea is to combine some of this delicious smoked bacon with some delicious fried bacon. And then pray to God it doesn't go rotten. Here we go. Uh, yeah, you know, oh, scissors. Aha. Uh -huh. The key to life. Scissor me timbers, Xerxes. Here we go. Slowly. What exactly is a booster, Bombs? I have no idea. Are you the littlest bit disturbed that this process is actually called pitching the wart? Pitching the wart. Alright, turn it off. Ow, motherfucker! Dude, what would you touch? You all right? That. Oh, yeah. That's scalding. Uh, just pick him up. Ah! Son of a bitch! You, you picked it up from, from this? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking hot, it's yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, they keep, keep it boiling, right? Keep it boiling? Yeah, we want to have boiled water, right? So there's the bacon. Cheese! So we could probably... Cheese, don't eat it! Don't eat that bacon. It's still good. No, it's been in the booster, buddy. It's the sugar booster. You might boost up your insides. You might have diarrhea for like 600 days afterwards. No! Yeah, don't. <laughs> You'll have diarrhea for a while, I bet. Seems like an awful waste of bacon. All right, I don't know how 
much. You might need to go a little, a little, a little further right at the beginning, right? Just to get the stream going. There you go. Nice stream. Sprinkle the yeast into your keg. Wait five minutes, then stir vigorously. <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Everything. Is that how it works? That's all you need to touch. Look at that. Look at the little creek steam. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, Whoa, hey. See. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ventil tip it over. ventilated notches. Ventilated notches. And sir, you're done. Now I must bring it. Where's the uh, storage facility? I'm going to do it in my room because it's a great even temperature in there all the time. <laughs> So the beer's sleeping now. It's tucked away, tight in its bed, dreaming of becoming beer. I was just talking to them. I love it. Talk to me like lovers do. The secret to growing good beer is constant barrel affection. True. Tactile contact is extremely Essential. important. You know, in 14 days, you're going down my throat. Need contact. A little. Yeah. You're going to be so good. Blah, blah, blah.